Well, it took me a little while to find everything, but um, I'm now doing laser discs the proper way. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, so um, I've got my extremely modified Pioneer 704, um, stuff full of, you know, Oh, I don't remember hundreds of, of parts making it far better with its own video, special video output. Um, all that's covered in different um, videos. Um, for the conversion from uh, composite into digital SDI, I'm using the Stella Wilcox uh, TBS 185 um, Kudos Plus. Um, that's, I think, pretty much, that's this piece here, that's pretty much the best way you can convert composite over to um, SDI. And then for conversion up to HD, it comes out SDI from the Kudos uh, over to the Terranex, um, which is uh, running um, which is running an, a, a up conversion, and um, it converts it up into 1080 uh, uh, P24, which is really 1080 P2398. Um, or 1080i or any format I want on the output. Uh, velocity control, color space, and I've got really advanced um, filtering um, capabilities, um, very enhanced um, or very uh, sophisticated enhancement. We've got color space controls that are uh, really in depth. Um, of course, proc amp um, aspect ratio changes, so I can make letterbox into a, you know the right shape for 16.9. Um, and um, it's got pretty much everything. So I think this is pretty much the best, arguably the best way to do um, to do laser disc. Um, I think. Oh, I forgot to mention that on the output of the Teranex, the HD SDI output from the Teranex, I then converted over to HDMI, and I'm using a, um, a Panasonic, an ST60 uh, Panasonic uh, plasma to display the picture, which of course the camera isn't doing justice, and the camera's doing the wrong color space really for it, but um, it works pretty well.